It has been a while since I've talked to my next guest, a couple of years at least, but happy to see him back in action at Unified 44 coming up this Friday live on UFC Fight Pass. It's Chris Lee Byrne back here on the program. Chris, how are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. Just training hard, trying to stay as active as I can. Tell me how this came together with you fighting for Unified, uh, Ontario fighter fighting in Alberta. Um, I'm actually originally from Calgary, but over a decade ago. But um, yeah, my man Rob Vevers from BTC messaged me. I guess he was talking to Sonny and them, and uh, they needed someone to fight their local hero, Ali Charky. So uh, since I want to, I want to fight as much as I can this year. So why not rally that? That's up awesome. Get down. Is it just a one fight deal or or a multi fight contract? This one's a one fight deal. I kind of like to take fights one at a time. Usually. Yeah, have your options open, man. That sounds great. Uh, you, you've been on a roll lately, man. I was looking at uh, your last couple of fights, four straight victories. What's been the biggest factor for you, in your opinion? Is it just that activity, or what, what do you feel has been the culprit of of this great winning streak you got going on? Um, I'm I'm not sure, man. I I kind of just show up and fight and accept my fate. You know, I train as much as I can. I think I'm I'm very technical, especially for a regional or national level fighter. You know, so uh, I think I'm well rounded and. Uh, you know, at this level, I can normally find, like, the hole in someone else's game. And correct me if I'm wrong, first fight at middleweight since, I think, 2015. Is this the ideal weight class for you? Well, to, yeah, to be honest. But I don't know. The weight's coming down, man. Like, I'm the lowest I've ever been in my adult life. I'm walking around, like, 189, 190 right now. So 186 is even seems like it's going to be easy. But I was, like, 223, like, three months ago. So, but I don't know, man. I'm, my cardio and conditioning, I've been working a lot more. And, uh, you know, that last camp against Simon Moreni was probably one of my most hardworking camps of my life. You know, like he's a he's a Bellator vet. He's fought UFC vets. So I really took him seriously and I stepped it up, you know, and like uh, now the weight's just continuing to fall off for uh, Mr. Charkey. And, and you mentioned the cardio. Uh, is the diet changed at all, too? I know that's an easier way, uh, you know, to sort of cut, cut some pounds uh, when you're, you know, really disciplined on that. Uh, well, yeah, like I always cut, I always eat pretty healthy when I'm in fight camp, except for when I was doing heavyweight, I was pretty chubby. But, uh, like, I was never should have been a heavyweight anyway. I kind of just fought there because they were just uh, options, you know what I mean? I kind of just hopped around for heavyweight 205. Now I'm back at middleweight. I'm probably just going to stay at middleweight now, though. If not, yeah. maybe I'll try to even get lower. We'll see. Ooh, interesting. Okay. And uh, let's talk about your opponent here. You mentioned it, hometown guy, three-fight uh, vet. Uh, what do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him here? Um, I know, uh, I don't know a lot about him. I watched his tape. He seems like a, he seems like a phenomenal wrestler. He seems in really good shape. Uh, everyone's telling me he's like a huge ticket seller, like the top ticket seller out there. So, uh, you know, it's a good opportunity, a good matchup. You know, I take him very seriously. I think I have more experience. Uh, I believe in my jujitsu and, and I've been boxing longer than I've even been doing jujitsu. So I feel, I feel confident, but, uh, you know, I take him seriously, whatever we're, we're going to get down and the fans will enjoy it. We'll see what happens. I don't know if you're aware of this. Uh, he's Muslim, so this last month he's been fasting during Ramadan during camp. How much do you think that's going to be a factor in the fight with the fact that he's not on a regular eating schedule? Um, I I don't think it's going to affect too much. A lot of my training partners have been too. I've basically been fasting, man. I just lost thirty pounds, you know. So the true, yeah, think, good point. I don't, and the guy looks like a the guy looks like a specimen, dude. So I don't know. I think he's in pretty good shape. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, training camp. Where have you been training for this one? Who have been some of the main training partners uh, same, helping you get ready for this? I, I, I always stick with the same guys, man. The same guys have developed me. You know, I, I don't, I haven't really been going to adrenaline, but I've, I'm close with a lot of the adrenaline guys that visit me. Um, I, I train a lot at Get Enhanced Boxing with uh, Mark El Guapo. I train uh, with Stephen Molitor when I can in Kitchener. I visit Crew Chris at Moss a lot for Muay Thai when I can. Um, and of course, my Monday Jiu Jitsu boys, you know, it's a, a lot of scrappy guys, a lot of fighters on that team. And, uh, you know, Jiu Jitsu is obviously my base. Everyone knows that. But I've like last few years, man, I think a lot of reason too the weight's falling off is I train more boxing. You know what I mean? I started with boxing initially, but, but, um, I felt re fell in love with it a lot more. I think my Jiu Jitsu is kind of already on a good level for MMA, you know? So, and I'm like, I'm not doing sports Jiu Jitsu anymore. So I focus a lot on boxing. Like 80% of my training is boxing or Muay Thai, you know? So, that's where I really feel like I shine. And I think that's a lot more cardio based. So that's probably a big reason for a lot of the weight loss. You talked about being in really good shape going into this one, the cut being relatively easy. Has that altered a bit just with the fact you do got to travel out to Alberta? It's not a, for those who aren't Canadian, it's kind of a long flight to get out here. No, I, I, I've already flown a few times in the last month, man. Like I, I just got back from BFL cornering Nate like, like two days ago, you know? So I'm always flying. I'm always going back and forth everywhere. It doesn't really, it doesn't change anything for me not whatsoever. That's crazy. So you went, oh yeah, so you would have been part of the BFL card and then coming back. So that's, you know, what's that's four, four, almost five hour flight, right? To go from yeah, that was a Ontario five, to BC. Vancouver's a five hour flight from, from Toronto. Uh, 
Calgary's a four hour flight, but yeah, it's whatever. I'm not too worried. That's interesting. About it. Oh, no, I that's cool. Did nap, you ever I stay up before and I sleep? So it feels like a 10 minute flight. That's my, did trip. you ever look into just staying, uh, you know, cause you're in Vancouver, you're not that far away from Alberta. Did you ever think of just staying for the extra week or no? No, I like to come back and I was here for the last couple few days, go back, see my team, see my boys, see the dog, check everyone out. Okay. Uh, you, you mentioned, uh, who you're training with, who's going to be in your corner for this fight for my corner is going to be, uh, they only fly out one corner. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have my brother, man. He's cornered me since the beginning. You know, he, does, he fought amateur a lot. He was undefeated. He doesn't fight pro any now, but, uh, he focuses on cornering me for my fights, you know? And so my brother's going to fly with me from Toronto. We're going to meet my, my Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach, Josh Russell, who's actually in Calgary. That's where he's from. That's where his academy is. So Josh, Professor Josh Russell and uh, my brother, David, they're going to be, they're going to be my corner men. And maybe I'll throw someone else in. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what's up. Maybe I'll just grab a random and let them hop. You got a best seat in the house. There you go. Yeah, you can't beat uh, that the cage side seat. Um, how's this fight playing out on May 6th? I know you're confident. I know you signed the contract. How do you see this one going down? Man, I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen, you know? I'm confident with my boxing. and I'm confident with my jiu-jitsu. I think he's confident with his wrestling and uh, his strength and conditioning. Uh, who knows what's going to happen, man? I'm just going to bite down the mouth guard, see what happens. Chase subs, chase knockouts, chase elbows, and uh, you know what I mean? And uh, we'll be the better man win. We'll see what goes down. You get this win, you'll be 6-1. and one. W Where are you looking to go with your career after this? Because that's a good record no matter where you are in MMA. What, what are some of the implications of, of a win here, do you think? Well, I, from a, I've heard from a birdie that UFC Toronto is going to be happening maybe in September. So if I win this fight, I'll, you'll, you'll, you better believe I'm going to be calling out for that. If I lose this fight, I'm going to put together another win streak by September. And I'll be trying to get a title fight or a strap before then to make sure I get on that card. You know, you're like the fourth fighter who's told that uh, to me. So I'm pretty sure that card's happening. Well, we'll hope it does. I definitely want to go and cover that one live. That would be awesome. Um, and then you mentioned being from uh, Calgary originally. Are you going to have any family come out for the for the fight? Um, no, probably not. There's not really much people that live there now. That was like 10, 15 years ago. But okay. uh, I have friends that are there. They'll be. I'll be selling some tickets. I'll have. I'll have a bit a small crowd there. Not no. Not no Ali Turkey crowd in support. But I'll have some people there for sure. Good stuff, <laughs> man. Well, we're looking forward to it. Unified forty four May six live on UFC Fight Pass. Chris, appreciate you taking the time. I know we're getting real close to fight time. If there's anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. Man, I just all, all my sponsors, of course, Innovative Electric, Top Dental Hygiene, um, Live Fit. Uh, the Helping Heroes fun with Chad Elliott and them and Matt. Uh, the, um, yeah, a bunch of them. Check my social media. They're all listed there always. I'm always blasting out all my sponsors. I get a lot of support from everyone. Of course, my Monday Jiu-Jitsu teammate, some um, Get Enhanced teammates, uh, everybody, man. So uh, I get a lot of support, and uh, I'm thankful for it.